Hi, this is Mark from Real Roof. I'm going to introduce you to one of the toughest leaks I ever had. Came back to the roofing industry after a little hiatus. Got hired to do a little three square flat roof. There was an existing torch down modified here, over 15 pound felt. So what we did is we took an SBS modified, we put it down in cold adhesive. For the first two weeks, light rain, no problem. Then suddenly, after the big rain, we had leaks. Rest about where I'm standing. So the first thing we did was we checked our tie-in right here, where the shingle roof met the sloped roof. We thought for sure that we had it. We cut down into the second layer of shingles. Again, this homeowner did not have a lot of money to spend. They couldn't do the whole roof. We did that. Two weeks later, big rain, leak again, same spot. We started cutting up the roof down here. And we started saying, okay, there's got to be a leak through our roof. The fact of the matter is, when we cut our roof all the way down to the plywood, we saw the top of the plywood was dry, but the bottom of the plywood was soaking wet. We said, okay, we've got a chimney that's leaking. So what we started to do is we chopped off the top of the chimney, because this was you know, poor construction, the senior village in New Jersey, and we found that the chimney was absolutely hollow. So we took four inches of concrete and created a top for the chimney. We then waterproofed it, caulked it, went away. We got the leak. Two weeks later, it rains. Same thing. Porch inside, water underneath. We didn't know what to do. Our next step we did, we said, okay, well, maybe this entire section of shingles was bad. So we tore up the shingles here. We went all the way to the fan over there. We re-shingled it, we put tar underneath it, we were so upset, same problem, another leak. We didn't know what to do. We cut back the roof right at the intersection and we found a bunch of water right here. We, we have T-bar under here, we sealed the chimney, same thing, water, water, water. The water we found was actually coming in at the intersection of the plywood and the old uh, original house and the water was coming in and getting underneath the plywood. We didn't know what to do. Finally, we took another look over here, a good distance and on the opposite side of the house, and we saw that there was a turbine that was would spin and bring air into the attic. But what happened is when I went into the attic, I saw that around the turbine there was all water. So, the last time we were here, we took a tarp and we wrapped it around the turbine. Lorenzo wrapped the turbine, we tied it up. We just got back after three weeks, no leaks, finally. So all the way over there, a good 35, 40 feet where the turbine was, we found that the water was being sucked in. The turbine was sitting on top of the shingles the water would get underneath the shingles, drip its way in, follow its way to the back of the chimney, and head right over here. This is, I call, after 32 years of roofing, and one of the lowest cost jobs I ever did, probably the number one toughest leak I ever had. So water does travel, and sometimes you know it travels enough that it can drive you crazy. But I think we got it. I think we solved the leak. So always look at your penetrations through a roof if you're having a leak and just double check everything. But this was a tough one. Four guys, actually it was Jeff who was here, Lorenzo, Julio, uh, and, and myself. We couldn't figure it out, but now we got it by just covering up a vent that was just sucking in water. So I would say number one, look at those vents. Thank you very much. This is Mark from Real Roofers, 732. 995-3914. Thank you very much.